your camera. Of course. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So Yannick, I have your presentation around here. Perfect. So Yannick is a student. You're a student, Yannick, right? Yes. Student I will introduce that real quickly. Yeah. He's our, yeah, yeah. Sure. So you're going to talk about encryption in open source cubes. So that's cool. You can start talking while I, I'll uh, give you the presenter right. Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, th hello, everybody. Thank you all for coming to listen to my very quick presentation today. I will be talking about uh, CubeSat cryptography and more specifically about CubeSat certification, which uh, is part of my uh, research uh, that I'm currently doing for my master's degree at uh, ISA Supero in Toulouse. But first, I would like to talk about the question, why would we care about CubeSat cybersecurity? Well, as this graph that I got from the, the nanosatellite database clearly shows is that the nanosatellite and the CubeSat uh, industry has been growing steadily and increasingly over the last couple of decades. That itself gives already rise to a lot of availability of software issues that I guess you all are quite familiar with more than I uh, myself. But um, what I like to focus on is the little red box that I highlighted at the bottom of the screen. The, the curve encapsulated by this box uh, shows the amount of nanosats or cubesats that have been launched with propulsion modules. And my question to you is, what do you think would happen if such a cubesat gets hacked? Well, yeah, we get a missile. And that is, of course, not what we want. So one of the ways to counter this is by using cybersecurity and cryptography. And if, what we have chosen to do is to implement something called asymmetric public key crypto cryptography. <laughs> Uh, the idea behind this is that we use a key pair, a public and a private key, with which we can either encrypt, as you can see in the left side of the screen, or authenticate data. Um, for purposes that I will explain uh, more clearly later, uh, we have chosen for now to focus fully on the authenticate data uh, set, and the encryption data, uh, the encryption of the data can be done in a similar manner uh, another time, maybe for next year for the, this workshop. Uh, so, authentication, uh, what we did is we used uh, self-signed digital certificates, which basically follow a very straightforward pattern. Pattern: You have data from which you co compute the hash, also know a fingerprint of the data. We encrypt that using very complex and predefined uh, cryptographic uh, functions. That signature we mix with a certificate, and then we have a digitally signed certificate. We send this along with the data uh, to the ground, and then on the ground, we verify the certificate. We take the data, we compute the fingerprint and the, ha the hash, we take the signature, we decrypt it, and we compare the two. Are the fingerprints the same? Then that means that our uh, satellite is the one that really sent this data. So we can prove the, the authentication of our data. If not, that means that someone has been trying to intervene with your data, which is of course not what we want. Well, uh, currently there have been a few examples of, people, of uh, mostly universities trying to implement uh, similar things. But what you will see is quite often than not, for example, here for the Norwegian or the Singaporean uh, uh, CubeSats, is that they are using symmetric key distribution. And the problem with this is, is that you cannot do authentication, which is exactly what I am currently working on. Uh, and otherwise, you would have, uh, of course, large satellite systems, which have been using this system for a long time. Uh, but not really within CubeSats of NanoSats. And that is why we found this particularly uh, interesting to, to do research in. So currently we are using the Embed TLS R uh, library open source uh, from uh, Armbed, uh, for, which we can, for which we can take uh, generate key pairs and self-signed certificates. Um, then. The next steps, what do I want to do to complete for uh, this uh, specific research is I want to implement the verification. I've now made the certificates, now I need to verify if they really work. I have to test them on ground. Then we will embed them into the Z board. This one we chose specifically because it has a architecture quite similar to that of the Ninano satellite board. Um, we have to benchmark our performances to see which cryptographic function works the best. Then we want to, if we have time, we want to embed it into the Ninano board, and then in the end, we will publish our final results. And that's it for me for today. If you have any questions or want to know more about this topic, feel free to contact me. My email is here, and you can find it in the abstract as well. Super, Thank Yannick. You. 
thank you very much. So yeah, on board encryption. So turn on your microphone and for Yannick, you know the game. So you have three, two, one second to give me your yes. Yes! yes! Of course, encryption, right? So uh, keep in touch. You know, it's always useful when you're doing a blockchain project. So 